Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 4 of my tutorial series on how to create multiplayer games. So in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to send simple messages between uh, your game client and the server and what's going to happen is uh, the client is going to connect to the server, the server will you know fire a connection event, the server will then send data to the client giving it a unique identifier or an ID. So now the client has its own unique identifier and the server will also send events to all other connected clients saying that a new player has connected and give them uh, that new player's ID as well. So let's get started first with coding our server side of things. So I want you to go to server uh, folder here and if you don't see the server folder here you probably have Android selected here so I want you to click on project which will so show all the folders in the read directory and go to our index.js and find where the connection event happens uh, when our client connects to the server which is IO on the connection event. So if we're inside of this function here, we know uh, a new game client has connected to the server. And what we want to do is send that game client a unique identifier. Now the good thing is we don't actually have to create a unique identifier. Socket.io does that for us um, when it connect, uh, makes a connection to a, a new client. It gives us a ID in, and it, that ID is located in socket.id. So we can use that later on. Um, what we want to do is it, uh, emit excuse me, an event to the connected client. And how do we do that? We do socket, which identifies the socket that or the client that we want to emit the event to. And then we do emit, which sends one event to one um, socket, this function does. Now we have to name the event that we want to do. And in this case, we're gonna do socket ID is the name of the event. Now we're gonna send a JSON object with the data that we want to send. In our case, we want to send the ID uh, to the connected client. So we'll just call it ID, and then we'll use socket.id as the data for the ID. So now um, when a client connects, it's automatically going, the, the server will automatically an, um, emit a socket ID event to the connected client and the data that is sent with that is this ID, the so new, newly created socket ID. Now I want you to go back to your main class or multiplayer demo class and we're going to create a new method here called uh, config socket events and we'll call that and we will create that down here public void config socket events and this is where we're going to like it says, config our socket events. Now the first event we want to configure is the connection to the server event. So let's go ahead and do that down now. We do socket.on and then we give it the event that we want to respond to. In our case, it's socket.eventConnect. And now this is just basically a string that is literally C-O-N-N-E-C-T. We can actually look at it here. Um, and here you go inside the source code event. Uh, connect is actually just the string connect. Um, so if we go back here, then we can execute a new emitter. Uh, what is it? Em uh, emitter dot listener. And then it comes, this is where we can actually reply to the event. And args, as you may expect, is where our data comes from the server. So you can see that uh, emitter.listener has one uh, function called call, and this is what is executed when the event occurs. And what we're gonna do when the connection event occurs is just log it to the console. So we do that by gdx.app.log, and we'll just say socket IO is uh, the tag, and uh, connected is the log. Now let's put in our response to the newly created uh, event that we created on our server, the socket ID event. So we'll say on, give it the event, socket ID, and then new emitter listener. And so now we can reply here and we can just say, we need to get the data from the arguments here, which is the uh, JSON object that we sent. So JSON object 
uh, data equals, we'll just put it into a JSON. We'll type cast args to a JSON object, uh, args zero, because it's all, we're only sending one piece of data. And then we can say, uh, I, let's say string ID equals data dot get string and we'll call it you get the string ID and so next we'll just log our ID to the console so uh, gdx.app.log the tag will be socket IO and we'll just say my ID and then plus ID. Now one important thing is actually this should be set rounded in a try block um, because data.getString can throw a JSON exception. So we'll say catch JSON exception E and then we'll just say um, uh, gdx.app.log uh, socket io and then we'll just pass it e for the exception or actually you know what we'll just say error getting id for that for now now what i want to do is actually test it so i want you to go down here to terminal here and then you'll change directory because this by default opens to the root directory the multiplayer demo directory we're going to change directory to the server and then i want you to just say node index and hopefully you get the server is running now if we run our game hitting the play button here we're going to see the server respond to the game opening and also the game responding to the connection and receiving its id so the game started we got a socket io connected event and then we got a socket IO my ID and with the unique identifier that was sent from the server. And if we look at the uh, terminal here, we can see a player was connected. And now if we exit the ser uh, game, then the server says player is disconnected. Now let's create one more event for when a new player connects to the server, what we want all the clients to do when a new player connects. So we'll say on, and then we're just going to name this event, um, it'll be dot on, dot on, uh, new player, and then new emitter listener, and then we will just actually copy this right here, um, because what I expect we'll create on the server is that we'll just emit uh, the new player event, to all connected clients and with a JSON object where the ID is the new player's ID. So we can just copy the ID here, but instead of it being, instead of us logging my ID, we'll say new player, con new player connected. Wow. And then we'll just uh, add its ID here. And then we'll say error getting new player ID. There we go. Okay, so now I want you to go back to your index.js page. This is our server. And what we want to do is when a new uh, client connects, we want to send that client their ID, but we also, in which we've already done, but we also want to send everybody else uh, that ID as well so they know that a new player has connected. Uh, so socket.emit sends the, the specific client their ID. In order to send everybody else their ID, we're going to do socket.broadcast.emit. And the difference here, of course, is this sends it to the socket itself. This sends it to all other connected sockets, but not the socket that we're referencing here. So everybody else. And then we give it the event. In our case, it is a new player event. And then we're going to pass it an ID and socket.id. There we go. So now we can go ahead and test it. I want you to go to your terminal, hit uh, control C uh, to turn the terminal or turn the server off. 
and then node index to restart uh, the, the server. And then what we're going to do is we're going to launch two different games. The first game will connect as normal. Second game will also connect as normal, but it will also uh, send data to the first game saying that it has connected. So here's our first game and we can look here. We got connected and then got an ID. Now let's get uh, another game going on here. Hit the play button just again. As soon as it pops up here, we should be good to go. So here's the second game and it has connected. So got two games here. But if we look back to the first game, you'll also see that a new player connected and this is their ID. And if we look closely, KTAAAB and look what this uh, sockets ID is, KTAAB. We totally did it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We talked about how to get uh, clients to communicate directly with the server and how to relay messages uh, from a client to other clients through socket.broadcast.emit. Um, if you like this tutorial, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But of course, more importantly, please share it. You guys are the driving force behind this channel, and I really appreciate you guys helping me out. Uh, if you feel generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. That'll definitely keep me going and making these videos. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.